Good day friends, it is me HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another Tinkercad tutorial. Friends, today we're going to mod that awesome lighthouse, so let's get cracking. Of course friends, step one is you need to have made this wicked cool lighthouse. I also want to show you it has this sweet rotation handle so that you can make it look like the light is actually shining. It is a fun little project, it has a ton of basic skills, and I'm going to show you a way to make it more advanced. First things first, back in Tinkercad, we never want to wreck our original, so click on it and choose Duplicate. That way you're playing with a copy and anything you do doesn't wreck it. Real quickly, I'm going to hit Home, that way we can see it all. Friends, what we're going to do is we're going to make the stripes sideways. Now in the tutorial I gave you, I used a sweet technique called Inverse Holing. I'm going to do Control D so we can keep the original, once again just showing you how to not break things. And if we ungroup this, this is what inverse holing is. This piece right here has the shape that we want cut out of the gradient. Now I want to make the stripes twist. So watch this. We're going to click on the gradient and we're just going to rotate it 22 and a half degrees. I'm going to hit D to drop it so it's at the top of the work plane. So right there we've got our tilted stripes. Now we just need to make this brick a lot larger. So I'm going to move this over so you can see it better. I'm also going to turn on the work plane. I shut off the work plane when I'm taking pictures after I'm done, but it's great to have while you're working. So I'm going to ungroup this and notice this box. If we hit T for transparent, it needs to be a lot taller for the next piece. I'm also going to make it stick out wider in every direction so that there's more room for cutting. You'll note I did not measure. I'm just using guess and check. I am going to use a line and I'm going to make sure they're centered. I am also going to raise this one up so that way I'm cutting down below because some of this will be hanging under the bottom of our lighthouse. Friends, now we take these two and we hit group. We turn it back into a hole. I'm going to go over to this shape and I'm going to make it transparent as well so you can see what I'm doing. And then I just move it into place. Let's do a line, center, and center. And notice you can see the little corners peeking out. I am going to fix that by changing the degree of rotation. So I'm just going to move this, and instead of 22 and a half, I'm going to go back five. Now let's realign them and choose that middle, middle, and middle. And that is a lot closer. Let's see if I can just nudge it over to get it so that it fits. That looks pretty good. I'm going to do control up a couple clicks. And I am so close. You can see it just pokes out on this side. This time I'm going to hide this piece. I'm going to rotate it back one or two degrees. Do my show all. I still don't have it. I'm going to hide again. Let's rotate again. One degree, show all. That didn't work, so I'm going to hide it again. And I'm going to do another strategy. Let's put work plane on this side, and let's just stretch it out more. I'm also going to put the work plane up here, and let's stretch it this way just a little bit more. Now when I do show all, you can see that the lighthouse totally fits inside, but I went too large. So we're just going to shrink this a little bit so it fits in. The lighthouse is totally in the shape. I'm going to put the work plane on the ground. I'm going to hide this and I'm going to hit T to shut off transparency. Friends, it all fits. Are you ready for this? If we group the two, boom, you have got a lighthouse with stripes that go side to side. Friends, this skill is called inverse holing. As you can see, there's a little bit of guess and check, but it is pretty darn amazing. I'm going to now click this, hold down shift and click on the roof. Let's do a line and make the roof the boss and pop, pop, instant spiral colored lighthouse. How cool is that? All right, friends, I have named it a spiral lighthouse. I'm going to back up. Of course, I'm going to make it public and I'm going to show the tutorial. Friends, I hope you had a ton of fun with that lesson. I want to remind you, I have got the website HL Mod Tech with the Tinkercad tab. 
there is also a designer showcase page and right there you can click on HL Mod Tech and you can check out all of my projects. Friends, you'll notice that they almost all say tutorial included so you can learn anything you want. They are also sorted right now by likes. If you click here and sort by recent, boom, you'll be able to see the brand new projects. And of course, when you check them out, you can give them a reaction. Finally, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, if you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Oh,